This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This past Sunday, we talked a little bit about Martin Luther King. We had two excerpts from his speech um, on the Other America as part of the worship service. And we'll be talking in the coming month about, um, uh, about beloved community. That's our topic for all of worship in February. And yesterday was Martin Luther King Day. So I want to take a moment today and say that there's a real danger in quoting Martin Luther King as, as Unitarian Universalism, Unitarian Universalists. And, and that's this. It's easy to remember King as a unifying figure, as somebody who observed racism in America and through the, the power of his conscience and his oratory changed the trajectory of American history. But we actually know that that's, that's not the story. Even though that that's an easy story to tell, that's not the accurate story. Because two things are also true. First, even a person as remarkable as Martin Luther King, was part of a much greater movement. So while we often quote him around this time of year, we also need to remember everybody else that was involved, from Bayard Rustin to Ralph Abernathy um, to, to Rosa Parks, and the, the whole trajectory of hundreds of thousands of unnamed organizers and activists across the South and across the country who brought about the, the civil rights movement. And the other thing, the other related thing, is to remember that Martin Luther King was not a unifying figure in his time. He was a, a radical figure in his time and still now. When you read that speech that we quoted on Sunday, The Other America, it's remarkable at how deep of a critique it is of American society. Around this time, every year, I go back and, and read King's letter from a, a Birmingham jail, not because of, of uh, well, I read it because it's a critique of who we are, of who I am. Martin Luther King saved his, his most choice words, not for racists, not for bull counter, but for white moderates and liberals who were quick to tell him that this is not the way to just take his time. Those were the people that he drew out for, for particular scorn. And one of the questions that I struggle with every year is what role I play in that letter. Would I be one of the white moderates or liberals that he so disdained? It's a hard question. But I actually think that we can't go through Martin Luther King Day without asking that hard, hard question of ourselves. That's where we'll pick up tomorrow. On an entirely different note um, than, the, than the update today, but nevertheless important, um, there's been a lot of questions uh, coming from the congregation as to, as to where our dog is. Because um, we came to New York and did not uh, feature our, our puppy in any of the videos as we were um, going out. So the, the short version is that the dog is here uh, on the trip. She was, uh, she was with um, my folks and she seems to be enjoying upstate New York immensely. So, for a deleted scene for, for daily updates at some point, for folks that have asked where Teddy is, she's right here. She's decided that she likes the snow in upstate New York quite a bit. <laughs> Having fun there, kiddo? Yeah. <laughs> 